What's up everybody, this is Dave and today I'm talking about action music. I'm doing a breakdown of one of my tracks and this is one of the first videos I'm doing like this. If you like it, let me know in the comments because I will do it again if people like it. So uh, we'll go ahead and play the track. This is gonna be something I just released earlier. I'll play about half of it because you'll get the idea. So here we go. All right, so that's about how the track goes, and let's go over some of the elements in it, in it right now. So starting at the top, we got a string, uh, a string library called Arcus, and uh, if I play that on solo, go ahead. you can hear what that's doing. That's kind of like a rhythmic, uh, really high-end rhythmic fast pulse going on, and I put on a tremolo it doesn't sound like that naturally, so let's take off this insert. So that's how it uh, typically sounds. So I put this tremolo on so it can make a really fast choppy sound on this uh, instrument. So. so we got that going throughout the track, and then we have bass, uh, a bass patch, like a really, sh really small low end bass going on. Let's open this up. Uh, this is in the key of D, and this is just playing a rhythm down here, very, very low, trying to be like a sub rhythm. So, uh, a sort of pulse going on down there. Uh, then we have our orchestra strings, and the violas really, uh, I mean, we're using mainly violas, bass, and celli. That's because I'm uh, trying to go with some of the more lower end stuff. Violins didn't really play much in this track. So let's go ahead and listen to how these kind of play. And by the way, this is violas, two of them from two different patches because I'm trying to get a more full sound. Let me just pull one of these up and you'll see the notes that are being played. You got one, like the one of the, of the, of the key and then three, five, six. Those are the main notes that play. Uh, those are the main notes that kind of give a suspenseful sound in the in the minor key. So that's what I am using here, and that's that in that and solo. Uh, one thing that I like to do when it comes to action music or just any music in general is I'll use the patch. I'll use like the close mics and the main mics. I'll take the hall mics off. I don't like it when it has that uh, that built-in hall. I like to kind of add a stylized reverb to to my sound so I, I want to start with a more dry sound and then add more add characteristics to it uh, of course EQ you can see the EQ here we got low cut 
Let me have like a boost around 3.3 uh, around this area because of action music, trying to give it more of a uh, piercing kind of sound to some of it. And uh, if we look at the sends, I'm sending it to a hall. And I'm also putting a kind of a two second algorithmic uh, reverb on it as well. And again, that's because I want to give it a stylized sound. I don't like it when it has the hall sound when it just has like the standard hall sound, I mean, it sounds it sounds fine, it's realistic, but I'm not really going for a realistic orchestra. I'm kind of trying to go for action music, more modern sounding in this track. So there's that. And then we have the celli, um, same kind of thing. I'm playing the dry uh, patches as well with just like a hint of the main, so it's not super dry. Although I, would, uh, I think it's fine when it's super dry as well, but you're gonna have a hard time getting percussion to sit because usually these, per these percussion libraries don't have a very uh, dry sound to it. You could probably edit it a uh, and make it sound kind of drier, but um, I didn't really do it for some reason. <laughs> so, I mean, I did it a little bit, but there's other ways to do it as well, which I didn't go into. So here, the celli play, this kind of like, again, this is not a lot of like, um, like harmony changing, this is more like rhythm based music and uh, pattern based music. So you see a lot of root note playing here. Uh, same thing, I mean, I, I think I said I'm using like the close and the main and just doing the same thing I did with the violas. One thing that I did do here is added a stereo delay because when you do go really dry, it can start to sound very fake. So I, I delayed, because the celli are on the right, I delayed and added like a 10 millisecond delay to the left. That way whenever it does play, you're getting the dry sound, but you're getting it to sound in the other speaker as well, because the library and then the dry mic is like only on the right side. So you have to kind of cheat it a bit and do this, but it sounds awesome, I love it. There's that, the basses, same thing, uh, same concept. These ones, I don't think I sent, yeah, see I didn't send it to the convolution uh, like reverb here because you got the lower end stuff, I'm trying to keep it uh, tamed and I just have a lot of low elements in this track. I wanted to combine a lot of low elements in this track. That's kind of my goal um, Again, these play like the one five the six of the track those are like the main notes we kind of go for more rhythm based and Then we have a, a brass Kind of brass things going on here. We got the mega horns the standard like Hans Zimmer mega horns So there you go with the Bram sound that is so popular then we have, um, it gets a lot, like, well, let me, I'll just show you. This library has a, a high pass, uh, filter here. So it's about right there. And then we have, when it goes up here, you get a lot more of that high end because obviously we're bringing, we're using that modulation to bring it back in. So it kind of builds that. Uh, instrument up because we're just we're just fading in the high notes which is really cool I love doing that later on in the track we have some clusters playing so again the brams combined with uh, some crescendo clusters and then we have those stabs here are the stabs And then we have some synth playing. We have some plucking, uh, short synth, plucking synths. Of course, they're playing super fast, so you, you don't really hear it, but I'll click on some of these notes. So you can see that is uh, some synth from Omnisphere patch. Um, then we have some melody synth here going on. And that obviously is not in the key of D, but I will go over that in a second. Once we go over these instruments, I'll talk about kind of some of the harmonic changes that I did in this track, which isn't many, but we'll take a look at that. Uh, the drums down here. So we got the drums. We're gonna go ahead and solo. Well, the first ones that play are the low end. The, these are low end ensemble drums, which obviously mean multiple players playing. What did I do here? I did a low cut because we have a lot of elements and uh, we don't really, I don't really feel like I need that really low end from this drum. 
because I have a lot of other low end elements taking up space in this track. So uh, I, I, did a, I did a low cut there. There's also something I do on my percussion. I obviously try to tune it with pitch uh, using it at the at the level of the patch. So like if you if you just tune the patch here, you can do that. But uh, the issue is that I mean, just I'll just play it. You'll see we have so much down here that you can't really tune it that well. So I add spikes to the note, and I'm using in my EQ. I add little spikes on. Oops, that was an accident. But yeah, so I have like a, a, a spike on D here and a spike on D here, and then that that give it a little bit of tuning into the key of D. So that's just a little trick I do on, on my percussion. A lot of people do that on the higher end, but I like to do it on the low end as well. So like these, uh, there's a toy kit down here. I'll open this up. I don't know if you can hear that on this, but it's it's a uh, it's just like a a toy sound. Here we go. Let's go to the louder part. Kind of like an insect sound going on. That sound right there. If I go open up the EQ again, we have a spike over here. It's in the fifth of the key. A little spike going on. A lot of people, and they do that nowadays in a lot of modern music, modern uh, film music. We have these uh, big booms down here. I use this to just give it like a, just a, f a bigger sub sound down there. Just every now and then a little, a uh, big boom. So that's the percussion. I forgot to talk about this mid, mid drums down here. So let, let's hear this in solo. So the reason I added this is because we have a lot uh, stronger hit going on here, or it sounds a lot more powerful when you combine it with the low end ensemble. So here, let me play these together and you'll get a sound. Now I'll take off the mid drums and play it again. On. So hopefully you can hear that it's a lot more powerful when you have both of those drums combined. So in this track there are parts that will combine and parts that won't combine because I want this track to have some dynamics of course. So you'll have parts that are with the drums layered, extra, extra layering and the ones without extra layering. And then just if you look in this, just this low, which we talked about earlier, the low end ensemble, if you open this up, you can see there are like four notes playing at the same time. The reason why is because obviously that's again, goes back to layering. If we just play down here, that's one note, then this one, then this one. So you can see it goes from low pitch to high pitch. When you play a lot of pitches at the same time, you're gonna get a fuller sound. Um, so, I mean, the percussion is just layered. <laughs> you know, you got layers within one patch and layers within another patch. So you got just a big full ensemble playing. The second patch, of course, you, you're gonna probably low cut it because the first one has a lot of low end in there already. So that's what I did there. Uh, one, the last one I guess we need to talk about is the hand percussion because this is so fast it kind of, you want like something more hand, more solo. You don't want an ensemble because this is just playing so fast. Like take a listen. Obviously the player is gonna be tired. <laughs> you can't play that for that long uh, unless you're not human, but of course, I'm not going for a real realistic thing here. I just want something that sounds cool. So that is, those are the elements of the track. One, one kind of thing that when it comes to this kind of music, because it's so rhythmic and it's like more pattern based, uh, you don't use as, a lot of harmonic shifts and changes as much as other music does. You're not doing like chord progressions, but you can still do things like you can modulate, you can do stuff with modes. So there's a modulation and we get like a, a Phrygian sound. And one of the ways I do like a Phrygian sound is I'll, I'll descend until you can hear, I'll descend uh, some notes until you're about to hear the root. And then instead of hearing the root, you'll hear the note right above the root. So you're gonna get a Phrygian feeling by doing that. So for example, here we're descending from F to E and then your ear wants to hear D, but it's gonna hear D sharp. And it's really that surprise that gives you the mode, the sound of a mode. How do you emphasize a mode with surprise? 
So. And right there, we go to the key of G, but we're getting a Phrygian flavor in that because of the transition. And then we'll, later on, I go back to D, but that's how I'm doing that. Um, what else can we talk about here? One kind of cool thing I like doing a lot in any kind of genre is kind of this phrasing where you play half and half. So you like, uh, you might play in the phrase, half of it will play something, and then the other half of that phrase will play something else. Uh, you just have kind of two sections in it. So <clears throat> this part right here, the drums will kind of drop out halfway through and you'll get the strings playing. So let's just take a listen. So I guess it wasn't halfway, but you know, about a third of the time you have you have the drums and the strings playing all together, then the drums won't play and the strings will have their part. So you have to kind of give space to to instruments and uh, players, but this track, I didn't really focus on that too much. Going forward, I'll probably do another one that does that a lot more and focuses on melody placements and more phrasing, uh, phrasing things, concepts. But for now, that's this track. Hopefully you like the breakdown. If you do, leave a comment, thumbs up, or whatnot. Let me know because uh, I'm not really doing these kind of videos. But if people like them, I will do more of them. So that's it for me. Thank you, guys.